this speed sensor kit came with the uh, speed sensor itself and here is the adapter an extension hose and some protective sheathing it's got this little plug here that will go in the main grommet and then a couple of zip ties a pretty simple process you're just going to end up having to reroute this sensor hose right here and run it along to the back side where we're going to put this adapter and the speed sensor there so we're going to take off this protecting cowling on the back here this pops off with four little clips there really. and then we're going to need to take the sensor and the adapter and then we'll thread together um, i like to just put a little uh o-ring grease on this because it does have a an o-ring there just want to make sure it doesn't tear that's like the main reason for doing that just put a little bit on there I'm just going to screw them together it's important when you're tightening these don't grab here on the uh, connection port and do not over torque these I think the specs are like 14 pounds so with that o-ring in there you don't doesn't have to be crazy tight the uh, connection uh, or I should say the mounting hole where this brackets gonna mount it's gonna be here I think this is like a 10 mil 10 millimeter head it's gonna go right in there and then it's pre-wired right here got the, uh, the wiring adapter you have two back here one is for water pressure and it's labeled with a W and then one's gonna be your speed sensor wire and it's labeled with an S and they'll plug in here so this is your um, your water cooling pressure uh, port and you can do it either electronically using this or if you want to do it manual old school way running a hose which is what I'm gonna do um, Choice is yours on that. So anyways, I'm gonna get this thing torqued down correctly and then I'm gonna get it installed. So I've got it torqued down. I'm just gonna use this applied bolt. It does use a 10 millimeter socket. Once again, do not over tighten this. It just has to be snug. Use a little thread lock in there too if you want. your let's see that. plug adapter there and line it up just like that and next we're just gonna route the the original hose for the speed sensor from the front using their extension kit and we'll run it to here so we're gonna pull this speed sensor hose back in through this Kelly grommet here and it, it calls to uh, cut this tip off here of the hope I can get it with scissors yep that should be good um, and in the instructions it talks about um, routing this underneath your wiring connectors here under and pull it through. There's like a plastic arm there, you just kind of wrap it around that. I'm going to connect the extension hose. Comes with the sheeting. Okay. Four hours later. Feed it through here. So I'm just going to bring the hosing up here, 
making sure it's not kinked anywhere and mark my distance cut that hose slide it over that nipple the last zip tie and get that tight and that is it we'll be done thanks for watching see you on the next video